Ah, my friends, very nice to see you. I'm still in the Dolomites, still at Passo Ciao. And yeah, it's quite clear sky today, a little bit of clouds up there. And we, we want to go to a hike. We means my wife and me. We want to hike back there to this fantastic high mountain back there. And uh, yeah, same as uh, in my last video. We have uh, clear sky and there will come a thunderstorm afterwards. So we don't have all the time in the world. But anyway, I'm really excited uh, to check out this, this, uh, this area. And the main goal is uh, of this hike to explore this area because we'll definitely come back here. There's so many possibilities for photography, for landscape photography, epic shots. And I would say, I just see what's possible to photograph maybe straight on today because yeah, there will a thunderstorm come. So really dramatic clouds maybe, hopefully I'm not sure what will happen. I have just my travel tripod with me. Uh, I have my 16 to 35 millimeters lens with me, a 24 to 70, also my 70 or 200 lens, also with teleconverters. I have everything with me I could need. And yeah, the, the, tra the travel robot is much lighter than the heavy lion rock from uh, Rolleye. So yeah, and you hear it already, 2,400 meters, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's film here. <laughs> Oh, it is quite crazy. Yeah, I think crazy nails it really. Wherever you look, you have a composition. It is so amazing. Let's look at this mountain face here to the left hand side. It leads you into the frame here. We have this mountain range back there. And at the right hand side, we have also this mountain here, what ends the, the frame here, the right hand side, and balances the, the, the rock at the left hand side. I mean, it's not only this rock, it's also this uh, green mountain here, what balances that, but it's really fantastic. It's just, the light is not uh, perfect here in the moment. It's just, you know, all about exploring here this area. I know that I, I could come back here at another time. I just have to think about how the sun would uh, turn. It goes up in, in that direction, so it's front light, currently the front light, so this is the reason why everything yeah, is totally flat and boring. The sun will go down more there, and uh, it depends on the, on, the, on, the, on the season actually, so it really makes a big difference if you go in spring, winter, or, or summer, or autumn, whatever. Oh man, it's so beautiful. And these amazing mountains back there, it's just amazing. Oh, what a fantastic landscape. I found my first shot already and I know I said before the light is not perfect in the moment and this was around 15 minutes before for me. Uh, but I found a, a, a nice scene here where also the light was fantastic. So light is not all, only all about the daytime. It's all, all, all about uh, how it, uh, how it uh, from which direction it comes and where it hits and so on. And I got this fantastic light spot here, the left hand side. In the moment, everything is uh, uh, illuminated here. But before we had a little bit of a shadow and light at the left hand side, a little bit of light here also in the foreground. And yeah, I have this fantastic rock here at the right hand side. It leads into the image. And I got these uh, boulders here in the foreground. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with this image. And in the, in the distance, we have everything in haze, and haze is really good here because it, it gives this fantastic kind of layering. The further it goes in the background, yeah, the, the, more, the more sense of depth we get. The, the softer it gets, and the more sense of depth we get. I found a second shot, a second composition. 
and I got attracted by this light spot back there at Aragunsela. It looks really fantastic. And we have this uh, subtle line of uh, bushes and, and uh, trees down there. I use it to lead into the frame from the left hand side. At the right side we have these boulders here, which looks really fantastic. And also this tree up there at this uh, rock. And the mountain face back there, it's absolutely amazing. We have Cinque Dori back there. And I also love the, the, the sky, the clouds are so fantastic in the moment. I use them to, yeah, to, to um, limit my image a little bit to the, to the border. And uh, I took the shot already and I will show it to you right now. It was quite heavy up here, really quite hard, but it's so beautiful here. And this mountain, this grass mountain back there, so beautiful, illuminated by the sun. This is what I was attracted by when I came up there. And uh, interesting is the image I, I'm, I'm taking here today. And also generally here in Dolomites, uh, most of the cases, not all of the images, but uh, some of them, are quite time critical. So this means there's no time <laughs> to bring my tripod in setup. Uh, I shoot them totally freehand and this works. I mean, it's just all about building up a composition, being really quiet, waiting maybe for the right timing. I mean, the, the timing is already there. You just uh, have to think about the clouds, think about the light spot, think about the rocks and so on. Generally, I think we, we tend to place close foregrounds into our uh, compositions. This is not a good idea, I think, here in this area. The mountains are really amazing. They are so big and uh, uh, yeah, really monstrous and uh, <laughs> colossal. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hunting for words here. Really, it, it's amazing. And, and this is when you when you go for, uh, too wide with your with your focal length, uh, too short. They 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 are shown like tiny gnomes, and this is not what we want. I want to have them really big, and so I take a little longer focal length. And we have also a um, field of rocks back there at the left hand side. And I can use this here as my foreground. I also do anchor the image. And this looks really pretty good. <laughs> it is amazing. It looks like a half pipe, doesn't it? <laughs> like a half pipe, a grass half pipe. Amazing. And there's also a lake down there. I think I will have a, a lunch now. And uh, maybe we'll also have a look if it's possible to get a photograph there. But what I can see is I thought about, about uh, taking a photograph to this mountain back there with the lake, maybe in foreground with a reflection or so. I think it reflects, it's still, it's really calm here, but there's lots of haze back there, so it's difficult. I mean, you can use a polarizer, but then you get also rid of the reflection, not only of the haze. We had lunch already and um, as I mentioned it would really be nice to walk down to this uh, little lake down there. The only problem is when you look back there, it's really dark back there and I think that there will come a weather. So I think it's better, it's, say, it's more safe to return 
and they'll break this here now because yeah safety is really first safety is always first i will definitely come back here it's, it has so much more to photograph yeah i mean wherever you look all, all, all 200 meters is a composition something like that it is amazing my friends i hope you enjoyed this video yes please give me a thumb up and don't forget to tune in next week there will become a fantastic video as well i thank you so much for watching see you next time bye